what happens in the U.S. Navy if a military member says he is quitting and immediately abandons ship? Will the Navy make an attempt to rescue him or just let him drown or get taken out by a shark? They do this little thing called, RELEASE THE KRAKEN! <laughs> Will the Navy make an attempt to rescue him? Probably. It depends on, you know, if they liked him or not. I don't know. Don't they call the Coast Guard for that? They might just, you know, let the shark get him? Let the puddle pirates handle it. Well, I'd be rooting for the shark. If one of us gets eaten by a shark, then we've got hysteria. Despite what you may think, the Navy cannot order sharks to kill people. We've got crazy news stories about how the sharks are attacking our country and they're coming from China and they're coming for our jobs, they're coming for our military members. As someone who was in the military, what's something you would call fun that a civilian wouldn't think is very fun? I don't know, whooping some ass? I had a lot of fun throwing grenades. Blowing stuff up. A shower. Uh, that's a lot of fun. Packing your face with as much Copenhagen as possible when bored. Seeing how much booze you can consume and you have some time off and some liberty. I'm gonna flip the script on this one. One thing you would think is fun is being in the back of a B-52. I had fun at boot camp. I thought boot camp was fun. Actually, I really enjoyed that. But in reality, you just puke for three hours straight. But it was Air Force ROTC boot camp, so it was basically like summer camp. Not fun. In a real life zombie apocalypse, how well would the military hold up, parenthesis, if the virus was like the one shown in The Walking Dead, parenthesis? Is this guy a zombie who wrote this? That's a stupid question. I want to talk to the person that wrote this question. I've seen the show. They don't hold up well at all. Where are the drugs that you take? And how can I get my hands on them? Uh, we don't be dead. Because you crazy, boy. <laughs> could fireworks be used as an anti-air weapons? In other words, could a fireworm... Fireworm. Could fireworks be used as anti-air weapons? In other words, could a firework harm modern military aircraft? I, I think fireworms would destroy everything. This sounds like ISIS is asking these questions. Uh, if you're trying to take a B-52 down, you're probably gonna need a 6175 Blockbuster Flizzy Wizzy 75. It's kind of scary that someone's even asking this question. Which you can only get through a store in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. Not today, ISIS. You tried. And you go to that big triangle next to the Hooters. You tried. Off the strip. Not today, Isis. That's where you're gonna find these things, okay? You tried. If a special forces team came across a fireworm in the field, what would they do? If they had Marines with them, I think that they would probably eat it. Probably. How realistic is the air combat in Top Gun? Good, it's good. Top Gun is real, so it was all real, wasn't it? I'd say it's pretty spot on. Probably really f***ing realistic. It's <laughs> just so stupid. I'm not a military vet, but I do have a film degree. No one's gonna dogfight an American pilot. And I can tell you that movies are generally fake. Not even you, China. Please do not listen to them, Just assume that everything in movies is fake.